Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of the Green Scrapping Machine. Today I'm going to make a card and as you can see here is the base but um, before I get started with the assembly I just wanted to let you know this is going to be for Momo's Tuesday challenge. Every other Tuesday she posts a challenge on her blog and this was actually posted last Tuesday but because I was just getting done with the 31 days. Um, I just needed to take a little bit of break last week. So I'm going to go ahead and do it this Tuesday. And her um, challenge was to use the colors hot pink, black, and white. And whatever you made had to feature a heart in some way. So I welded together two cupcakes from the Sweet Treats cartridge. And I know that this cartridge already has the card feature, but they all open on the side. And I wanted this one to open up on, on the top because I'm going to make this an easel card. So I already scored it down the center so that it would fold. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the side that's going to be on top and I'm going to score that at two and a half inches. So I'm going to go ahead and get out my Martha Stewart scoreboard. And I know this is upside down. Alright, so, and I'm going to score this at two, inch, two and a half inches. And I do have a video showing the basic easel card just with a typical A2 size card um, if you're interested in making one of those. Go ahead and crease that down and then what I did was I took another cupcake, just a solid one and I've already assembled it and zoom in here a little and this is cut at five inches so both of these were cut out at five inches as well and I like I said I've already assembled it and with the swirly here I just added some silver stickles um, so what I'm going to do with that is I'm going to adhere it to this bottom part of where I scored it. So right down here, so I'm going to go ahead and add my adhesive. There we go. Line that up. Perfect. Alright. And then what I did is I cut out another one of the black layered features, and that's just the cupcake wrapper, just in like um, the blackout feature. And what I did with that, and you'll have to excuse the little stickles starter <laughs> strip there. What I did with this is I cut off about an inch from it, and then I took a happy birthday stamp and I went ahead and heat embossed happy birthday in white on there and that's what's going to allow the easel part to actually stand up so what I'm going to do here is use some pop dots or some dimensional adhesive and go ahead and adhere that to the bottom of the inside part of the card. So I'll go ahead and zoom back out just to show you that I'm doing the inside part of the card so that part will be covered as the card is closed. And you're going to want to use some type of dimensional adhesive for this part just so that it will hold the card up and it can be displayed. 
and this is just like the outside part of the actual parts that you're supposed to take off. Go ahead and remove the backing. It has been so cold here. The wind chill got to negative 40 here. And I think the high got to a whopping 2 degrees. So that was it was a good day. Cars were pulled over to the side, not working. It was just fun around here, getting to work. All right, so there that is. And then when you open up your card, it will just stand up for you. And there is kind of the side profile of it raised up. And then to incorporate the heart that needed to be featured, I have this um, birthday bakery stamp set and it was the hostess stamp set from Stampin' Up! when I had my first Stampin' Up! party in September. I went ahead and picked this out. And I used the stamp right here, the For You stamp, and I also heat embossed that in the hot pink, and then I heat embossed it in black. So I'm going to go ahead and lay my card back down flat, and I'm just going to adhere it right here onto my card, just with Actually, I'm going to use some pop dots or some dimension, some more dimension. And then I just tied this little bow that I'm going to add on top, and I'm going to use a glue dot, a mini glue dot, to adhere that down to the tag. And then I'm just going to use some Stardust Stickles to color in that heart and make it pop just a little bit more. So there is my completed card from for Momo's Challenge. And it is just an easel card and it will stand nicely at the birthday girl's desk or countertop, wherever she would like to place it. So I hope you enjoyed this episode of The Green Scrapping Machine, and I'll see you Thursday. Have a great day. Bye!